Hey what's up everyone this is Wicked and tonight I have the honor and the pleasure to show you the latest update from Imperium ROM. It is version 12.1 made by Slim80 and um, it's based on official uh, TouchWiz Samsung firmware 5.0.1 Lollipop. I have, I have also flashed the Imperium Lollipop kernel version 3.6 which uh, was actually released today and actually yesterday because yeah. And uh, I'll put, of course, I put a link in the description with all the files you need in order to flash this ROM. Also, make sure you check out the card, the card right next to me. Uh, yeah, if you don't know how to flash it, it's an universal how to flash uh, tutorial. So, in this ROM, I'll be talking about the features of this ROM, um, the pros and the cons. Of course, I will do a benchmark test. I, actually, it's already done, but I will show you the score. And of course. The new thing about my tutorial is that we'll, I will check some uh, three games. One that is not GPU intensive, one it's medium, and uh, which uh, and one the last one which is Temple Run Two, which is kind of a, a really you know tough graphic game. So GPU will be stressed out. Um, so let's get into the battery life because. At the beginning of this video, take in mind that uh, my device is having 50% juice, so half of the juice is gone. Um, and I will show you at the end of the video what percentage is uh, left on the battery, just to make sure you guys know how much the bet how fast the battery drains out. So um, take in mind that this is a touch with ROM. We expect stability. We expect hell of a lot of features. And that's what we get. Along with this beautiful ROM made by Slim80, you have kind of the most important feature, um, which is the toolbox. And what you can do with this toolbox is, um, you may already know this, you, you can activate it and save. You can open up apps, inside apps. So for example, let's say if we're uh, calculating something and then we want to quickly open for example the smart manager all you have to do is to swipe back and forth between them um, get back into calculator and so on everything is working fast and smooth so this is what toolbox does of course if you for example if you are um, in smart manager and you want to take um, a screenshot again you, all you have to do is to press this um, button and it will automatically take a screenshot as you may see saving screenshot a screenshot which you can uh, edit later as you may see um, you can also magnify things on the screen using the camera and you can also activate the flashlight so yeah this is a really uh, user-friendly feature that you may want to take into consideration after you flash this beautiful ROM um, another cool thing about this ROM is that it supports by default exposed framework so you don't want to you don't have to mess with the uh, uh, zips that you don't know how to flash it is integrated by default and all you have to do is to check it out uh, into check it uh, into our installer so exposed installer as i told you it is completely working as you may see and i have installed two modules the s uh, by four stock launcher which isn't working for some reason I think this uh, launcher is kind of modified, so that's why it isn't working. The grid, I mean the grid size. And of course the one I'm exposed, as you may see, it is uh, fully working. I have set up uh, the clock into center and uh, five bars uh, network icon. Okay, so exposed is fully working and it's fully supported. Um, another feature actually there are a bunch of features that come with this ROM uh, the side key panel is one of them so for example if you are into calculator again and you want to get into the home screen or 
you want to get into the recent tab panel, you just have to press this. Uh, regarding the recent tab panel, this is a kind of a bug uh, regarding all Lollipop ROMs on the Galaxy S4. It lags hell of a lot as you may see. Um, but I figured a way how to get rid not of that lag, but of the home screen but of the you know the button which will press in order to get into the into the home screen, into the recent tab panel. So it was kind of lag while uh, after you pressed it uh, until from the for the from the moment you press it and uh, you you'll get the recent tab panel. Uh, also put a link into the car section in order to see how I fixed it. It's a sh really short tutorial, about three minutes. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it with the features. Of course you'll get a bunch of different features here. Um, I haven't tested it, frankly, I haven't tested the screen mirroring, but the Bluetooth works fine. It automatically connects to my Bluetooth headset. Um, we also have the not disturb mode and other features that you will normally find on any other TouchWiz ROMs. Um, I also deactivated the, you know, the S Finder thing here, quick connect and S Finder bars. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it with the features. Uh, regarding the theming part of this ROM, you, as you may see, you have a lollipopish uh, something like CS7 style, a white uh, marshmallow no, lollipop. Sorry, I said whole lollipop marshmallow theme. And of course, you have the. I think this is the Galaxy S7 icon pack. If it's not, please forgive me. We have also themes. Here, Lollipop, Galaxy Note 5, Galaxy S6, and so on. So you can easily customize the icons, not the entire user face. Pay attention. So, um, yeah. Otherwise, let's check out. Uh, you want to? You want me to show some apps? I think you all know them. Um, so I'll get past through them. You may want to test them to see how they look. We have my files regarding the S6 uh, my files application. Um, let's get into the performance part, and I will show you what score I got on uh, in Antutu benchmark. Actually, not this. I opened the wrong application. Antutu benchmark. This is the application that you you want to take into consideration. Um, no, so I scored 33,641 33, points, which is a really fair score, and um, yeah, you know my opinion that uh, these uh, numbers don't really matter to me because it really, fi the most important thing while, you know, browsing to your phone is um, feeling that it is stable, it is rock stable, it is smooth and it is fast. And um, you will see in the following moments that it is pretty fast regarding the GPU and the CPU. So let's open up a game that is not so GPU intensive. And as I told you, the toolbox is present anywhere. So you may want to, for example, if you scored a high, um, if you scored a high score, yeah, my language is pretty bad. If you got a high score, you may want to take a screenshot and share with your friends. But yeah, this is how it looks like. It's kind of pretty difficult to play uh, behind the camera, but I'll try my best. So yep. Come on, uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty difficult to play behind the camera, believe me. So it's working perfectly. The non-GPU intensive game is working perfectly. Let's try the Traffic Rider. This one is in landscape mode. Again. Okay. Um, so Traffic Rider loading. This is my scooter. And I will play Endless. Desert City Winter. City Winter. There's only highway right now noon okay so let's get started ok 
Okay, I'm gonna turn on the media a little bit. Yeah, bam. As you may see, it's pretty fluid. No graphic kill box, no, no stuttering. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, so it's pretty fine regarding this uh, this game, as you may see. Whoa, bitch. Okay. Yeah, so let's get out of the game. Um, now, uh, let's test the... A GPU intensive game which is Temple Run and I will test it at uh, full actually the very best quality okay so it's loading it's uh, Frozen Shadows Edition my background also changed Okay, so let's get into menu just to show you settings and best visual quality. And right now it's changing visual quality. We'll have a bunch of shadows that are mostly GPU intensive. And you'll see that it has lag right now. I'll show you right away. Okay, play. I hit the play button. So we see shadows and it's kind of lagging not such a big deal but it is let's admit it it is lagging Woo! whoa yeah and I'm fucked okay so um that was pretty much it I think it's a really great ROM. Thumbs up for for Slim 80 for making this beautiful ROM. Um, everything is working perfectly. Uh, regarding the battery life right now, because I am going to end up this video. Let's get into Smart uh, Manager. Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Here. Let's get into Smart Manager, and it's 46%. And as I reckon at the beginning of the video, I had uh, 50% which is really great battery life, I will rate it 10 out of 10. And uh, take in mind that this is a custom, this is running a custom kernel, you can customize the kernel settings by using Astrix, here this application, you can play with the settings here in order to get, uh, you can undervolt your device, your CPU, in order to get more, you know, battery life and screen on time of course. Um, so. That was pretty much it. I hope you liked my review. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. Uh, by doing so, of course, you'll keep me motiv motivating, the, motivated doing this kind of stuff. Uh, it's pretty late. Midnight right now. 12 o'clock a.m. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. Thank you for watching, guys. Wicked is out. Bye-bye. Take care.